Now a snail is one of the easier things that you could make. So in order to make this, we're first going to have to decide what color we'd like the shell to be. So for mine, I think I'm going to go with a purple shell this time. Now I made the purple by mixing a little bit of red with a little bit of blue and putting that into my salt dough. The very first thing I'm going to do is just roll it a little bit. I don't want it to be plain. So this one, I did stripes on it. So I think for my next one, I might put little polka dots. So I'd make these little sort of dots here and just put them on the table. You don't need to be perfect. They can be different sizes. It'll make it all the more interesting. And once you have all these little dots, then all you really need to do is take this little log that you formed and roll it through. And it should pick all of it up pretty well. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to roll a little bit more. And what I like to do is I like to hold my hand on an angle. So I don't hold my hand straight. I sort of have it like this, where it's hitting it on the side so that I create a cone-like shape like this. And that's pretty much all that I need to do. And then once I have it here, I'm going to start from the smaller end and just start to sort of roll it up. So I have this really cool looking shell here for my snail. Once I have that shell done, I can work on the little snail's body here. So I'm going to get whatever color I'd like to use for his body. And then I'm just going to roll it a little bit this time and then flatten out the one end. And then the other end's sort of going to come up like this. That's going to be his little head. And then I can stick this little shell right on top of his body. The thicker part should be towards his head. Otherwise, it looks like it's backwards a little bit. And then once I have this here, the only thing left to do really is to give him his little antennae, which come up right here. So I'm just going to squeeze and pull these little pieces so that they stick up. Okay, and with the other one that I made, I just sort of used a pencil to make his face, make his mouth and his eyes. But I think for this one, I will still use a pencil for his mouth. Maybe this one sort of has his mouth open like he's saying, oh no. And up here, I'm actually going to use different colored salt dough to add the details. All right, we're left with a really cool looking snail. Go ahead and try to make your own and be really creative when you make it. What kind of patterns and designs can you put on yours?